What's going on? You're in a live stream, Lorenzo. What do you prefer, Miguel? Uh, Lorenzo, you like Lorenzo? Yeah. Miguel. All right. What's up, people? Just wanted to bring you in here, and uh, hopefully you'll learn something. Maybe what not to do. We got a little factory defect on this Tesla. It's a little black dot. We're just gonna put a little bit of base on it and clear the rest. You guys can see something here. I won't be answering comments, but feel free to uh, feel free to comment. I just won't be answering them right away, okay? So I'll probably answer them once once the live stream's done. Then I'll answer your comments. So don't uh, yell at me if I don't answer your comments, okay? <clears throat> can you guys see okay? Like it's not too bad in here. I feel like the camera is tripping out a little bit, but. Hopefully it's not too terrible, right? I'm going to just jiggle the camera around just to make sure we got. All right. Okay, I think we're good there. I just raised the, uh, sorry for the shakiness everyone. I just raised the car up a little bit. Let's see what the, uh, what the comments are so far. How is your week starting out so far? It's good, it's busy. After Sima, I've lost my voice. Thank you, Brad, I appreciate it. Bonit. Thank you, David Lopez. What's going on? This is Seth, how you doing, man? All right, hi from Ener Germany. Hello, Germany guy. Hello everyone, I, I'm so glad that you're here. I didn't think anybody would come and see, but uh, I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> Very small repair here. We've got a little white dot from factory there. I, I mean, a black dot, I mean. It's really hard to tell, it's right there. It's so tiny, but it's a factory defect. <clears throat> so I thought, you know what, I'll get you guys in the action here. And I want to try to do more live streams for you guys. I think it's a good way to keep you guys updated on what's going on here. So I'm just going to tighten this, this arm on the camera. Puerto Rico, what's up? Mike Shaw, what's going on, man? So nice to have that lift. Yes, it is. Very nice. It's amazing. Jay Alvarez, Zero Miedo, Zero Miedo Painters. That's a funny name. I like it. Okay, I'll be back.
thanks for tuning in, boys and girls. I'm glad you're here. Like I said, I may not be able to answer all your comments yet, but just uh, if you want, just keep commenting and asking questions. And once the live feed is done, I'll try to answer them as much as I can, all right? I'm just glad that you are here. So we got the car really clean in the booth. That's very, very, very key. <clears throat> if somebody wants to take notes and then post them in a comment, that would help everyone. So if anybody wants to take the liberty of doing that, that would be greatly appreciated and it would help everybody, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is make sure this car is beautifully clean, very, very, very clean before you put it in the booth. So when it comes in the booth, it's almost ready to spray. <clears throat> Can you guys hear me okay? I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm just gonna move this a little bit this way. Yeah, the car has spray mask, okay? The car has spray mask. <clears throat> uh, no, I, I'm doing it with a phone. I'm not doing it with a GoPro 7. It didn't work out for me. Anyways, I have Prime Wash in here, which is a degreaser, and obviously a clean microfiber cloth, and that's what I'm gonna clean it with. So that's already twice that I washed it. Wash the paper. Flip that over. I always say, wash the paper. <clears throat> Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to use a neutralizer. Yeah, I mean the stack gun. I have a neutralizer I see as well. The stack gun, they do the same exact job. Just this one, it's explosion proof. I always wipe it first with a microfiber cloth. I'm not gonna use a tack cloth at all. Now I'm gonna do it on, on its own. Not too much.
So I'm doing really light coats. And I'm trying to stay away from the edges. I was able to find a non tri coat formula for this color, which is really awesome. Then I can keep the overspray really tight. And then I won't have any issues with the size. So oh, that's looking great. You should try the microfiber cloth, it's amazing. So that's looking good. I noticed a tiny little black hair right there. The tiniest little black hair, it's almost microscopical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a piece of uh, sandpaper and I'm just gonna lightly scuff it to get rid of that because this thing literally has to be perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scuff this area here to be able to even it out. I know that's what you have to, I mean, the, the real painters need to do what they gotta do, right? So when things don't go well in the booth, you have to make sure you um, improvise to get things to work properly. So, I'll be back. Let me see where I can leave you guys here. There we go. I'm glad a bunch of you guys showed up here. That makes me happy.
So if it wasn't for the blower, then I would have not been able to do this. But because I dried it with the blower really well, and I'm able to lightly go in here and get rid of whatever is there. this would still be soaking wet, which is why I like using the blower. It makes a big difference. You don't want to push too hard when you're doing this, just lightly. in a perfect world, this would have been clear coat now. But I'm glad that this happened. All right. So what happened here, if you guys are just tuning in, there was a tiny little little spot, like very, 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 very tiny, um, of a little tiny piece of lint, it was black. So after I sanded that with Trisac, a thousand Trisac, oh, I didn't show you guys what it was. That's what I used, a thousand trisac. This works well when you want a D-nib base coat. It works really, really, really well. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to just wipe it and blow it with the stack gun. Uh, I'm using PPG and Virebase. That's what I use here. <laughs> so because I sanded that, now it's smooth. And also, the, the imperfection is almost gone. So I'm just going to put a light coat of it, see if it covers. The only downfall of having a single, um, like a, not a tri-stage, so just a regular base coat. As a, this is a tri-coat color but I found a metallic um, formula. I'm trying to, trying to explain that for you better. If somebody can word it better, please do. There, this is a tri-coat color, so there's a base coat, mid coat, and then the clear coat. I found one that is just regular base coat and then clear coat, so that's what I'm spraying. The only downfall of that is that it has very, very, very little coverage. This is what I'm using to dry. You can get this uh, on my website, motivatedpainters.com, and uh, they work really, really, really well.
That's it. I'm gonna let that flash off for a couple minutes. Because I didn't put too much base on there, then it doesn't need to flash off for that long, but it's recommended to leave it for 10 minutes before you clear coat. But this is such a small spot that it, it's gonna be fine. I'm just going to, I'm gonna go mix up some clear. I'll be right back, so don't go anywhere. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys are here, and hopefully somebody, at least one person, is learning something, hopefully. And uh, I won't be able to get to all the comments, all right? So just uh, bear with me. I won't be able to get to all the comments right away. And uh, hopefully, you know, you guys can help each other out in the comments, for those of you who know. You guys are still watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna be spraying my clear coat at 30 PSI. So that looks great. That's ready for clear. So we put a little bit of base, right? A little bit of base there. This is very transparent. So. What happened was I got a little bit of a piece of lint. I sanded it out with 1,000 Trisac. And now, 
I'm ready for clear coat. I'm just going to clear the whole entire thing, all right? Also, by the way, I've been trying out these gloves, these high flex gloves. I'm really liking them so far. I'm going to post, I'm gonna post the uh, review video uh, later on this week. So yes, I'm going to clear at 30 PSI. I'm gonna try to get you guys on a point where you guys can actually watch what I'm doing. Now, for those of you who don't know, my name's Gabriel um, from Motivated Painters. I started this channel about three years ago in hopes to help uh, painters not only become motivated, but also become better at what they do and uh, also make some of them realize that maybe they don't want to be painters and also make some of them realize that, hey, I do want to be a painter. So either you do or you don't. I hope that you're here and that you're watching and that hopefully you'll learn something or even maybe, maybe watch and see something cool that you haven't seen before or something like that. So I'm really glad you're here. This is one of the first live streams that I'm going to be doing. I feel like, uh, you know, I need to get more content out for you guys and uh, trying to minimize on the edits because I do have a full-time job. So I just do this to hopefully help somebody, like I said. All right, enough of my ugly face. Here we go. <clears throat> there we go. I'm going to just turn you guys a little bit. Um, here we go. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna leave you like that. There we go, check that out. That's a better view. So this is a Tesla Model S, for those of you who are wondering. Um, there we go, good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, let me see if I can walk you guys through what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start down here, I'm gonna clear coat, and then I'm gonna go like that, and then I'm gonna start going up and I'm not, I'm gonna try to stay away a little bit here. We don't want too much buildup of clear coat there. Then I'm gonna go like this and just work my way up. We'll let that flash off a few minutes. This is EC520, so it doesn't need a lot of flash off. Then we're gonna work our way down the bottom and across. We're gonna walk out of here and we're gonna bake it and cross our fingers that it doesn't run. Okay, clear coat, WS400. Uh, 1.3, I'm gonna spray it at 30 PSI, okay? Um, what was it gonna say? So, yeah. Um, what else can I say about what I'm doing? Oh, I mixed uh, eight ounces of clear, which might not be enough, we'll see. I think eight ounces will do. <clears throat> so we'll let that flash off for a couple minutes. I'm using the 3M PPS 2.0. I really like these cups. The flow is beautiful, there's no restrictions. I really like them, but that's just my opinion. And also, I am not a PPG rep. I'm not a gun rep. I'm not a rep at all. Um, just a painter trying to make a difference out here. So I suggest you don't do anything I say. You don't do anything I do. Uh, just go back to your manufacturers and uh, listen to what they have to say because uh, they know what they're talking about. I don't. So I hope that, you know, hopefully you learn something here. Um, I don't know if I know, mentioned before, but I am using uh, PPG um, EnviroBase. That's what I've been using here at the shop for a while. And uh, I like using it. I have no complaints at all. Also, I'm using my SATA. My Sata uh, Vision 5000. It's what I've been using for a long, 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 long time. What I did do is replace the belt because the belt that comes with it sucks. Uh, that's about it. So if anybody's wondering where to get 
these blowers, you can get them at motivatedpainters.com. Um, I created and I designed this paint suit that you see me wear. I've worn this one for about three months now at a really high production shop, and I've washed it about five times, and uh, it's still holding up okay. It's dirty, but it's still holding up okay. So, you know, if you want one of these, you can also go to motivatedpainters.com. Uh, regardless, I'm so glad that you're here, and here we go for another coat. I think that's about three minutes, I think. No clear left, I do a tiny little bit there. So that's not bad, eight ounces for that. Uh, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate you guys being here. So that's done, I'm gonna kick that over to Blake and uh, hopefully it stays that way. All right, so thanks for watching everyone. I'm gonna try to do more of these. Oh, wait, I see something. I see something. I see something. Saved my gun with my feet. I see something. So like I've showed you guys in other videos, I'm gonna show you something again. I see something there. A little bit of, I think there's a couple of fish eyes there. So you lower the pressure and you put a little bit more clear coat and then flows out real nice. Boom. So that'll flow out. That'll flow out once I clear it. But I'm really happy with that. What do you guys think? I don't know. Like I always say, if it's perfect, it's because I didn't touch it. And if it's not perfect, it's because I touched it, all right? It's because I painted it, because I touched it. So never, ever, ever expect that any of my paint jobs, any of the paint jobs that I do, any of the paint jobs that I show you guys here um, are perfect. Never, ever, ever, for one second, please, ever think that these paint jobs are perfect, okay? Because I, I only try my best and that's all I can do in any given day. And uh, one day, you know, I might be having a bad day, but I'll still give it my best. So that's it for that. I'm gonna give this a bake, like that, like this. We're gonna bake this for 20 minutes at 119. And then that's good. All right. Everybody needs something. All right, boys and girls, um, if you haven't seen my dirty spray mixing station, here it is. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps when people subscribe and they watch the videos. It keeps me going. I hope that I can motivate you as much as you motivate me. All right, motivate the painters family. I love you so much. Over and out. God bless you. See you next time, all right? Motivatepainters.com. Take care, boys and girls.